I'm back from the dead. No, just kidding. Uh, I had it really busy with a lot of stuff, but now I'm back. My printer is printing there, so excuse me for the background noises. Um, I'm gonna make a cons uh, consistency in the uploads of my videos, and um, I'm gonna start a project like I said in one of my last videos with someone in Hong Kong, uh, Galen LK. Uh, so there are going to be a lot of new 3D printing videos and uh, technology related videos. So as you can see there is my Flashforge Creator printer. It has not a lot of problems uh, like this other printer. This is the Felman K8200 and this printer has a lot of problems because it is uh, built from cheap materials. It is an open quality. So it is open, it's not a built case, it doesn't have a, a housing and you can change a lot of parts yourself and uh, it's really nice to have something like this but it's not uh, for a beginner uh, because it has a lot of problems you need to fix it, you need to upgrade some stuff like you can use a second battery to uh, heat up the bed to get uh, higher temperatures and you will have a lot of problems with the extruder and stuff like that so what happened here, my extruder got clogged or jammed and uh, let's take this project away uh, so the extruder got jammed, there was some plastic between the two wheels because that's what happens with 3D printers sometimes if you don't use them for too long and this and stuff get in so let's get this disc out um, and then uh, it got jammed and when I opened it up um, I broke this part, I screwed it up too hard on there and now when I'm printing the filament is getting out of it so I ordered this part online it's like 14 euros I think it's below 20 bucks something like 18, 18 bucks so let's go and put this part on there and try it out and I hope it will work because I haven't used this printer for really long you can see the disc literally on here um, and I'm really looking forward to use this printer again because it was my most favorite printer it's easy it prints really really quietly and it's just amazing to print with so before we start we need a tool set and um, something like this will be really handy for a project like this because it has a lot of different kinds of screw holes and parts that need to come out and this is just perfect for that so the first thing you need to do is turn up your Z axis you can do this manually if it's not connected to the computer you just turn this clockwise from the front and uh, it should come up so another important thing is that you don't have filament in there so what I'm gonna do is uh, boot this up which I haven't done in months heat it up, take it out and then we will see what will happen alright if you removed uh, the filament from the printer um, all you need is like one of these to hold or like twist the bolt behind and you need something that to hold this one, the gears so while you're opening them it can be a little hard but if you once get it, it should be alright and go well so what you can do for this is put like a little screwdriver uh, between those so it will, um, it will hold them from moving which may damage the tooth of it but you can risk it I don't think it will break and otherwise I will print it again on my new 3D printer so just loosen it up a, a bit and then you can actually take it out so this is the main part you need to take out to um, open up the extruder of your printer some parts will find behind and you can just take them out of there like this and then the last one there we go so what I'm gonna do is put them on this one because I won't need them anymore for now 
and put them all together away and then we need to take out all these smaller bolts one by one and literally all of them and that's my other print that's finished so I'm gonna take that out put in another print because I have a lot of orders and then come back to finish this all right all right I opened up all the bolts and just realized I needed to open these two because these are necessary to open but no problem I did it so let's put this on the plate and now these parts are open too so just open these two parts and uh, it should be enough all right so I opened the two screws here um, here at the extruder and it's open now it's fully loose I won't be able to get this thing out but you can screw this out and open it but mine is uh, too expanded so it will be impossible what I need to do now is take these two parts off and uh, see if I can fit my new ones in there all right guys finally I got this mother <clears throat> out uh, you can see it was clogged up in there and it didn't work anymore it was like really bad and this thing is not straight but this one is something I need to use because I don't know I can't get a new one anywhere with this sets so I think I need to use it I'm not sure if it's a must I will try uh, we will see what will happen just putting back everything and um, see if it will work all right everything is finished I put a new spool on here uh, I want to print something I put a new uh, extruder on there um, I hope it will work so I'm gonna try it out right now uh, gonna heat it up and then add a filament and look if nothing comes out from there because that was the problem last time and it works no leakage at all I'm so glad guys uh, I did it I changed this part uh, there was leakage from there and it isn't there anymore and it prints just fine alright guys so I finished it it works it prints fine I needed to adjust this one a little bit um, tighter uh, this part with the part I changed you know um, but I printed something and as you can see it is not strong enough uh, it was really thin so I need to thicker these parts and the main problem with the gaps right here is that something is wrong with the slicing uh, method I use uh, like the slicer doesn't slice too well um, there are some layers that are printed in dots and as you can see the bottom fell out of it this one turned out actually um, better than I expected the left side at least the right you can see did not come out that well and this is definitely definitely something with the slicer because it just draws this perfectly and as it goes here it starts not to draw them and even though the X um, or the Z axis is uh, pretty much aligned and it's alright it didn't print it so something is wrong with the slicer I'm gonna make some other test prints try it out yeah, it is calibrated and everything so I don't know I think this is a slicer so this printer is not good for big prints like this uh, if they are thin if they are thick though you can print a lot of nice stuff and uh, I will try some more and then um, we will see guys so thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one